Hey everybody, Dr. Mark Lance here. Welcome to Motivational Monday. Thank you for joining me at the start of the work week every week as we jump in to the week with some motivational thoughts to get us started in the right direction. So today, let's talk about that little voice inside of your head. You see, all of us have this inner critic where we have this voice that every time we make a mistake begins to beat us down or possibly causes us to think that we're never going to succeed. It's that voice that tells you, you can never open your own business. You're not good enough or you're never going to get married. You're not pretty or handsome enough. You're never going to be able to get that relationship off the ground simply because you don't have enough charisma. On and on we could go with the phrases that our inner voice critic has to say to us. How do we deal with that? Well, first of all, I want you to understand you're not alone. Everybody has that inner critic. We all deal with this criticism within us, but we've got to be able to handle it because that inner critic can either become a major stepping stone towards our destiny or a major stumbling block. So here's a couple of things just to remember. First of all, become aware of your thoughts. Begin to think about your thinking. Not everything that comes into your head is true. And you need to analyze, is this statement that I'm making about myself, is it really true? Do I always fail? Am I always late? Can I never do anything right? Well, of course not. Those statements are not true. And at that point, you need to be aware of that thought, discard that thought so it doesn't get planted into the garden of your mind to become a reality. Because you see, every seed that is planted into your mind can grow into an action. And of course, your actions determine your decisions and your decisions determine your destiny. So become aware of your thinking. Secondly, what would you tell a friend? If a friend was coming to you with the same thoughts and the same criticism, what would you tell them? You see, whatever you would tell them, you should tell yourself. Jesus told us, he said, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you love your neighbor, that means you need to love yourself as well. So whatever advice you would give to an overly critical friend, you should give to yourself as well. Number three, use these critical thoughts as a catalyst for self-improvement. Whatever it is, maybe you failed or maybe you made a mistake or possibly you didn't succeed at a project that you said you were going to succeed at. What is it that caused you to fail? Learn from those mistakes. Put yourself on a personal growth trajectory on the areas that you need to improve in the most. Use this as a stepping stone to make you better and not bitter. Hey, that's just a couple of thoughts, but I want you to understand the inner voice. Again, be aware of it. It can either be something that can keep you from your potential or that can propel you into your potential. Have a great week, everybody. Again, thank you for joining me for Motivational Mondays. I love you being here. As always, do something for me. Press that like button. Share it with your family and friends. Let's get a community of men and women together who meet every single week and chase the life we were created to live.